the sound we're learning today is this one here and I think we have seen it before. My turn. Err. Err. That is such a silly one to try and say in film. Let's turn it round. I will see a robot. Robot. And we can see we've got the robot here. Can you see him? He's all made of metal with these buttons and his head's up here and there's a very long arm. Robot. So let's use our robot to help our writing today. So I've shown you his head and his feet and his long arm, but our rhyme today, we go down his back, then curl over his arm. Try it again. Down his back and curl over his arm. Point and finger ready and you can see it with me. Down his back and curl over his arm. I'm going to flip it around so we can't see the robot anymore, but we're still going to see the ring together. Down his back and curl over his arm. I'm wondering if you can practice that one at home for us and we can see on your Google Classroom how you get on. So three things to explore at home that begin with our er sound today. At first, my turn. Er, run. Run wondering if you can go for a run around burn off some energy when you're at home maybe you're doing your Joe Wicks workouts so you can go for a run up next rucksack rucksack now lots of you have got rucksacks that you bring to school each day because you have to put your lunch boxes in it or you have to put your pencil cases in it or water bottles so maybe you could pack your rucksack full of something um, to help you with your home learning and you can almost pretend that you have to come to school if it's homeschool. So we've got run, we've got rucksack and I forgot the third one. Oh, ruler. Ruler. Now, I'm not sure if you've seen a ruler before. We do use them in the class. I'm not sure if you've got one at home. A ruler is something that we use to measure. So if you can get your hands on a ruler today, I'm wondering if you could measure different things. Now, I know a few children were measuring how tall they were last week and a ruler is not long enough to measure how tall you are, but you could measure things like the length of pens or pencils. You could measure the length of books, maybe, just one side of them, probably. You could try and measure different things and see how you get on. You can look for the numbers on the ruler. So we have run, rucksack and ruler today. Let's see how you get on. Now I've managed to find a little story, a er story, um, which matches our song today. So I'm going to read it to you, um, but I'm looking at my computer behind the camera, so I won't be looking at the camera. So listen in and hear how many errs you hear in the story. Robert's family have a new puppy. They have to choose a name for him. His parents like Rover, but Robert also likes Ben. Robert can't decide. Robert goes up to his bedroom with the puppy to get his roller skates. While Robert looks for them, the puppy explores the room. Suddenly, Robert hears Rrrr. The puppy has found a blanket and is shaking it from side to side. Robert gets a hold of the blanket and tries to pull it away, but the puppy hangs on tightly, going, Rrr. The blanket rips. Oh dear, says Robert, holding up the ripped blanket. This looks like a rag now. I know, we'll call you rags. How many errs was in that story? You might need to play the video back. Just before we enjoy our song for err, I'll remind you of the action. Now you have to pretend that you are a puppy and you have a toy in your mouth and you are ragging it. So you go err and shake your head. Don't forget to join in at home.
See my puppy rip the rag. Err, err. See my puppy rip the rag when he pulls a 